Hi, everyone. Linda Israel here. Thank you so much for being here during my live stream. I greatly appreciate your support. I've pre-recorded this so that we can have some of the behind the scenes done while you listen to me for just a moment. I again want to thank you so very much for being here during my live stream. If you could give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends so that they can come join us. And if you will also give me a comment in the comment section after this video is done and then definitely speak up in the chat and say hi lastly if you haven't subscribed please subscribe now if you're watching this as a replay generally if you're on a computer you can go down below and look for the little gear you can change that and make the speed faster if you're on a mobile device look up in the corner up in this area for three little dots and you can change the speed there as well those of you that are here live do definitely speak up in the chat I greatly appreciate you being here well those that are here live live earn a virtual currency junkie joe should be coming up here in just a moment and you'll be able to check how many bucks that you have what are bucks they're junk bucks it's just a virtual point system that i have created on my account when we're live so that you can redeem those once you get to 2000 for a $10 off coupon to my shop. So you can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have. And if you have 2000 and you're ready for a coupon code, type exclamation point award and my official note takers will take down that information. Now, if you haven't already created an account on my website at lindaisrael.com, please do so and then send me a message through the contact form letting me know what your YouTube username is why so I'll have your email address and I can email you your coupon code also, if you make a donation throughout this live stream, you can be added to my YouTube donators membership that I have on my website. So again, create an account, say, hey, Linda, I donated and tell me what your username is on YouTube if it's different. That way I can get you added to that. At the end of this stream, I will have journals made and you will have the opportunity to win one of those journals. Throughout the live stream, we'll have some various raffles and we also have in chat games. So be looking out for that in the chat and I'll kind of speak it up when I get to it. For example, if you type exclamation point raffle right now, you can be in a chance to win 200 junk bucks. So you'll be well on your way to getting 2000 junk bucks. Normally, Robin is my official note taker. Sometimes Angelica is my official note taker. It kind of depends on what's going on. These are members and administrators of my Facebook group, the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. If you haven't joined that group, we'd love to have you come and join us over there. What else? Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. Hey, if you have a question, try to put it in all caps. That way I'll see it. If I don't see it, please don't be offended. The chat sometimes moves fast and I'm usually looking down trying to create things. So please ask again. But if you know the answer that someone else to someone else's question, please go ahead and answer for them. I greatly appreciate that. Let's see, what else? Oh, if you have a YouTube channel, you can't post your link, but you can say, I have a YouTube channel and tell us a little bit about it. Tell us your channel name, something like that. Tell us what you do. We're going to get started here in just a moment. I'm looking at the time. So roughly five minutes is when uh, I'll get started. So it should be just a few more seconds. So definitely hang out in the chat and we'll get started here in just a moment. y'all give up on me <laughs> hello everybody welcome 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 if y'all didn't know i'm linda israel <laughs> we uh, had some internet issues here and i've been fighting with it for a couple of days even and so i was trying to get on today and it just wasn't loaded and then i was like come on so i was trying to do all sorts of stuff before we got started so thank you for your patience everybody Hello, hello, hello. I am back from vacation. I had a great time. I um, got to spend some time with my family, my husband, and my father-in-law, mother-in-law, and then uh, 
another fam we could it, we call it family they're not related we're not married or into the family or nothing like that they've just been friends for a really long time so it was really good so we had a, a who's that stranger i know <laughs> uh, it was it was a lovely trip we flew from here in oklahoma to seattle and then we went from seattle to a cruise ship that took us to alaska and we got to go to so it was at Skagway, Juneau, and Ketchikan. I had to think about the three ports. It was a short trip in that it only goes up partially and then comes right back. I've done the inside passage where we went from Seward to Anchorage, and, or excuse me, from Anchorage down to Vancouver and from Vancouver up to, it's not technically Anchorage, it's called Seward. It's the last port in that upper north area. Uh, but it was really good. It was really good. So thank you so much. Uh, So thanks for being here. Hey, uh, Petey, thanks for being here, y'all. Um, hey, if you're new, do speak up in the chat. Can y'all hear me okay, I guess? <laughs> All right. So, no, I'm sorry, Julie. You're have, you always have something silly going on there. It must be because you're down under. <laughs> this was the journal that I took with me on my trip, and I worked in it to create ideas that I hope to turn into an idea journal, meaning that I made these while I was on the ship with limited supplies so that when I got back home, I hope to sit down and recreate the concepts that I've put in here and turn them into a tutorial as well as i thinking I'm, I'm putting it out there in the universe because i've already said it to other people uh that i am going to try to make a digital book out of it maybe a physical book but it won't have physical tangible examples it will have photos so that's something i'm working on uh you had a commercial but no bohemian video that's funny that she was getting a different video so today I'm, I'm trying to get back and regroup from being on vacation. I'll tell you more about that as we go. And I grabbed some stencils. I've been going through my stencils, trying to organize them a little bit. I'm almost there. I'm having a, to print some of my new sheet, the sheets that go with the stencil design. So I know what it looks like when I come to it in my file folder and I'm trying to put them in order um, in some file folders. Robin helped a little bit. She just put them in alphabetical order. And so now I'm going back through those and printing sheets and trying to add more of the patterns to my um, stash of stencils that I create. And I thought we'd kind of start off with spraying a couple of pages. You know, I like using Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist on my papers. So this is just composition notebook paper that I've trimmed down. It was a piece I already had cut and I think it's smaller than the normal eight and a half by 11 sheet folded in half makes five and a half by uh, eight and a half. And I'm going to use this small diamond stencil. And I've got from the garden tea party, the pink. So I'm going to use that. You need a storage solution for the stencils. Well, Julie, let me show you what I'm doing. I am working on it, but I can show you. So let me spray this and then I'll show you my, my stencils. I got them in my lap. So I'm just going to come in here and use the garden tea party. It's a pink. I've already done some pages ahead of time. So I know that the colors in those are blues and greens and I wanted to add a little pink. So I'm just going to spray this. I'm doing it lightly. I'll grab some copy paper. I'll grab this one. And I'm just laying it on top of the stencil. So it'll pick up the excess tattered angels and it transfers to the paper. So now I have another page I could use. I'm going to spritz the back side just so that it's done already. But there is that side. And let's flip this over. The 
the paper's kind of thin, so it'll bleed through a little bit. So I'm just going to spray the back side, and that'll give that some nice texture. I'm going to set that aside to dry. Let me do one more. Woo, I'm dropping stuff. Let the paper hit the floor. All right, so now let's do... This is the boxed flower stencil. And then we'll do that. You like the small one, Sam? I like the small one, too. I like the big one, too. But when I was working with the Alice in Wonderland kit, I want a different color. I got it out uh, and made it because I wanted something that would kind of go with her kit. So I made the small stencil. All right, so I'm going to use the Dancing Dragonflies Tattered Angel a little. And then I'm going to use the Garden Tea Party beside it. Coming back with a little bit more of the... Just kind of giving it a, a little bit of a mottled color. It'll be real soft. Okay, so we'll do this. So how was everybody? We had a great trip. Um, we didn't do things really in that we didn't take any excursions. This was our third time to go to Alaska. And financially, we really didn't have the money. But my in-laws paid for our trip. So we got it for free. And my airfare. I like that. How that came together. And so we went with the idea that we would just hang out with them and uh, walk around when we got to the different ports and just kind of talk to the locals. That was kind of fun. I thought about Barb. Barb, are you here? I haven't looked at the chat very well to see if Barb was here. Um, I thought about Barb because we were so far you know, north in Alaska that I thought, oh, I'm so close. I mean, not really. I'm sure it was still probably hours and hours away. I thought I could go see her. All right, so I'm going to set these aside to dry, and then I'm going to show you what I'm doing so far. So here's what I'm doing. Uh-oh, about to lose it. So I kind of categorize my stencils because I know when I go to them, I want to uh, be able to get a certain thing. So, for example, right here, this is my four-leaf clover and Celtic wallpaper one and two. And what I did was I printed the name. Oh, thank you, Margie, for your donation. Um, I printed the thumbnails that I use on my website. When you order stencils, I haven't been putting the thumbnails with it, but if that's something you would like to see me start doing, I probably won't do them as a full eight and a half by 11. I'll probably make them a half sheet like I do for the stencil club. And then Robin helped me by putting some of these in alphabetical order. So like this is gonna be A's and I'll probably do a picture on the front. I'm not sure yet. But like this is almost fleur de lis. I haven't put any other A's in here because I moved them around. I already had a folder that said arrows. And when I'm wanting the arrows, I want to just grab the arrows uh, file folder. So I just went ahead and put them in order in here. And then my goal is I've got a file folder that says flowers. And so I want to go back through those. Like this says B. So I don't think there's anything in there at the moment because I took it out to put it in the bee stencil. So these are my bee and honeycomb because usually when I want the honeycombs or the bees, I want all of them and I don't want to have to search for them. And then this is my birds. This has got owls, um, bird and flowers. So these are all my bird stencils that I have so far printed the papers like this one doesn't go here that uh, clearly is in the wrong spot but my flamingo stencil i did design a bunch of new stencil designs and i hope to start creating them into stencils and have them in my shop really soon all right does that help you does that kind of give you some ideas of how to store your stencil so i got file folders and I'm just kind of writing their names and then I have one of these uh, they're 12 by 12 storage 
first paper but I put my stencils in here I'm gonna put this with the circles all right so let's see here these papers are still damp so I'm just going to let those air dry so we don't have to spend the time using the uh, heat tool let's take a look at what i've put together so far and then i'll show you a couple of ideas that we're going to do today so i believe was it last the not was it not monday last week it was the 16th that i made i think i made these uh, little pieces here and i just took a book page and sprayed it lightly with some tattered angels and then this was taking a bunch of my gel prints maybe it was after the gel print session and just put them into strips and made a belly band this is one of norella's images i believe it's from the unicorn dream kit yeah i find a, an expanding file case would work for sure julie and if you don't want to spend the money on file folders what i had thought about doing was i had the copy paper was taking i'm just going to grab another just a just a random piece of junk but have my name on the front and then i have a plain piece of paper here and then either using washi tape or another piece of paper making a very thin file folder and you could even go in and make little tabs on each one of these so that's something i'm contemplating doing <laughs> i don't know it's going to happen anytime soon but that was one idea that i had too that i could then just pull that out and then when i'm done with it i could open it up and then slide it back in all right so this card i used from the blooming cube from beeline designs and just went around the edge and then around the edge here i used the sketched wildflowers so we've got some fabric um, these were a couple of elements that i had just left over so this has a gel print that i've stamped on top of this is one of norella's i think this is from hmm oh i can't think i don't know i don't think it's her allure it might be from grandma's garden but i'm not sure this was some little tear off note paper that someone gave me and i just stuck it in the middle after stamping around the outside edge and then these were some cards that i made during one of my videos a while back i thought well, those would go really well right here on this side i collaged some gel prints all over and stamped it with the shabby stitches and i was trying to make a page that had two pockets but going this way so what i did was i put down some paper tabs so that i have the full use of the pocket and i glued around the outside edge and down the middle and now i have this little journal card that pulls out from the side All right. I don't see Barb. I don't think she is here. She sent me a birthday greeting card, and I'm thankful for that. So I was thinking about her again today. So that was a, and then this is a old old stamp image from Brutus Monroe when I was first on their design team. This was one of his, and I happened to find it in my stash, so I used it. This was a page that when I printed the cardstock the back it didn't print all the way so i trimmed it down to make it a full page pocket and just glued on these sides and it's on cardstock so it's a little thicker but it didn't need to be and then i took my small version of my quilted starburst stencil so this is my small stencil and i used my blending tool so these little blending brushes and made the pattern in the background i had some washi tape laying here on my desk so i used it down the side and this is from the i just had it this is from the uh, french correspondence with beeline designs here and I stamped that in the background. And then I don't know where this image is from. It's just some random floral botanical images that I happen to have. And then I stamped on this day, if y'all didn't know this, I've been saving 
the strips off of paper, and I've got a few other things in here, but whenever I trim a piece of paper, if it's somewhat usable, I've been sticking it in here, and maybe even if it's not really completely usable, but I've been sticking it in here, and then when I need a little sentiment, I've been digging in here for the strips. So I'm trying to use it up, and at the same time, I don't want it to become fuller than that half a uh, partial paper bag. <laughs> Can't get my words out. So that's one of the pages. And I've got a couple pages that I had printed already. And I just wanted to make sure. I think this is from Grandma. No, not Grandma's Garden. It might be Grandma's Garden. That was from Nature's Glory. This is from Serene Flora. Uh, this is from Serendipity. This is the shabby, shabby flower, shower, shabby flower, florals, shabby florals, I think it is from Calco Collage. If I show you an image that is a digital download, it's all from Norella. This is from the uh, Nouveau Fantasy. I like the colors in it. And I thought it just kind of felt like it could go with all of this. This is from the Garden Tea Party, one of the images out of the large journal kit. And this is from the Artful Kit, Artsy Kit that I have. Artful, Artful Kit. I printed for the cover from the Wildflower Kit. I thought that would be pretty. Yay, Robin! It got, uh, she won. <laughs> And then I printed, I think that's from Serendipity. I just like the pattern and I just thought it just kind of fit. I happen to find this little piece of stationery. So maybe we'll stencil on the back of that. So I'm going to lay that right here. I have a paper doily. This is kind of an oval shape and I just folded it in half. Maybe we'll spray that. This is a page that I made earlier. I have an abundance of scrapbook paper. Robin knows she's been here. You're feeling so limited with the printer and not printing good quality. I understand, Julie. It's it can be frustrating. I mean, I don't know about you in Australia if you can get it, but I really like the um, uh, Instant Ink program from Hewlett Packard. I know some people love the Epson Eco Tank. I think is it they what they have, and it just kind of depends on your personal preferences and what you can get. Um, I have scrapbook paper, abundance of it. So I trimmed some pieces just to cover a book page. So that's a dictionary page in the background. And I just thought it was pretty and made a pocket out of the bottom. These are some Norellas. This is from the uh, Dragonfly Delight from Calico Collage. And I think this is from her flashcards. You're like an alphabet with flowers on it. Uh, I I think this is from one of Norella's small ephemera and mm, I'm not sure what kit that's from. That might be from my artful kit, but I'm not positive. And then these are my rubber stamps that I use here. You love the doily, Sam? Uh, on this side, I happen to find this scrapbook paper. And so I went in and I can't remember the official name, but I think if we type Daisy in the search field on my website, it should pop up. And I watercolored it with my watercolor pencils. And I like the way that turned out. And then fussy cut it around the outside edge. And then in the backward, background, I used the heart branch rubber stamp on that. And then I had this Ecru lace that I sprayed with green tattered angels. I think it was hemlock green. And some brown, some walnut gold. And I just like that vintagey look. Need to save up for the Echo Tank. Yeah, a lot of people love the Echo Tank, so it kind of it's, depends. Uh, this is a mop-up page using one of the Victorian stencils. I think it may be Victorian screen. And then these are elements left over from the Enchanted Rose kit. I was having to notice that I could see what these were. And this is an altered paper clip. So I've got a piece of paper that I folded in half and sandwiched the paper clip. And then this is one of the tabs, and this one's two, and that is also from the Enchanted Rose kit. And then I just added a piece of book page in there. This design, as you can see in the background, Norella will use my designs in the digital kits. 
So I was trying to come up with some different things. If nothing ever changed, there would be no butterflies. It's got stamping all the way around. Some ideas to come up here. I've got a couple pages laid out, but I haven't planned these pages. I'm just going to do one journal today. I'm trying to use up the things I have in my stash. I'm going to drink here. Yeah, yeah, you don't, you have a few do doilies. Uh, Robin, give me about um, 10 more minutes. Let's do it at 430. How would y'all like, we're doing a, we're going to do a raffle here. So y'all get in on the raffle. And I'm, good, I'm looking for some things. Ah, oh, here we go. I already have this bundle, so we'll do that. Okay. Thank you so much, Nadine, for your donation. All right, so we've got our couple of pages here. I'm trying to decide. I think I have a mop-up page that I had earlier. So I've got all three of these. I think those would make pretty pages in with the others. And yeah, these are smaller. I wasn't sure I hadn't lined them up yet. So that'll be good because you'll be able to see a little bit of a peek. Well, let's do something with this doily. I think what I want to do... So let's grab, let's grab a, I'm going to come back to this um, small diamond stencil and I'll lay the stencil, the um, doily on the back side and we're going to pretend it's a stencil and also give it some color. So how about we use the, this is from the Royal Peacock. I happen to have some tattered angels that had just a little bit left and so i add a little bit of water to it so i'm trying to use it up but if you have uh yeah it's almost empty curious or if you have the dancing dragonflies kits which i do still have a few of the kits left okay i like that and then let's go ahead we're not going to spray out here but we'll spray in the middle the enchanted uh or garden tea party I like that. So now that should have that pattern. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I may save that for another time. I'll flip it over on this side just because I want a little bit of the shimmer. So I'm just going to spritz it a couple of times. All right, so that's going to be a page just as it is. I'm not going to glue it to anything. I'm just going to set it aside to dry the rest of the way. You like that, Julie? You need an off button. <laughs> oh no, binge buying. That's not good. <laughs> Retracts the poke, poke, poke. Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Isn't that kind of pretty? I like how the page turned out too with that pattern in the background. Because we can add some stamping in the corner. Heck, maybe I'm going to change my mind and use that one instead of the others. I don't know. So, I just dried it just a little bit. Because it's so fragile when it's wet, I didn't want it to tear. So, I'm just going to set it aside over here with my, my stackle pages. Alright, so... This guy, he's just plain on here, so I thought, why not? We'll use, let's use my new little stencils. So I'm going to grab a scrap of paper here. I had a workshop on Saturday. It was lovely. We had a few ladies come to town, and we hung out together, and they worked on the, uh, hello, Brenda. They worked on the, uh, what was the kit? Garden Tea Party kit. Let's see, what color do I want to put? Maybe pink? I think a pink would be pretty. I put labels on my little makeup brushes that I use for blending because I was spending too much time cleaning them. And if I pick, didn't clean it right away and I picked one up, then uh, 
I had to go clean it because my colors would mix. Okay, I think I like that. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to grab, let's grab the Dusty Rose, Dusty Concord, sorry. And there's my purple. And also, if I pick up and put down my brushes like I'm getting ready to do with this purple brush, it's kind of helpful that they're labeled so I pick up the right one. If I read the label first, okay, I like that. Kind of makes it a little bit darker in a couple places. So I'm just going to move this stencil down just a little bit. All right, let's pick up the pink. It's a, a nice little size. I liked having the stencils with me while I was on the cruise ship. I was able to play around with ideas. You know, I didn't take Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist with me because we were flying. And I didn't want to spend the extra money for heavy luggage. Okay, I like that. So when you come to this side, you'll see that. All right, let's go over here. I'm going to do something different this time. So I'm going to use some of the pink. Let's grab a different stencil. So I've got the... This is more Little Daisies, and this is Little Daisies. So I'm going to change colors. I think I need new ink in my ink pad. Oh, that's kind of cool. Changing the colors coming down the page. All right, let's put those away. So those are my new uh, Flower Quartet stencils. So here's a pattern. There's another pattern. And then, of course, I just used the little daisies. These are smaller than the large journals, the full-size journals, uh, stencils. I don't know what's in journal. Uh, full-size stencil. So if you already have the Quilted Starburst, but you want a smaller size in two ways, the image itself is smaller and the stencil is smaller, you can get these because it will be a little different for you. Alrighty, so it is time for the raffle. If you haven't already joined the raffle, please do so. And I just used the wrong stencil because I was going to... Alright. <laughs> I think we'll stamp on here. So I'm going to get some stamps while y'all get in on the raffle. This is my little stamp set that I took with me on my trip. Delayed poke, poke, nudge, nudge. Yep. <laughs> um, these were stamps that I took with me. I did it on this side because they fit in the little bag that I was going to carry things around in. And I knew if I limited myself, I wouldn't carry too much. <laughs> so this is kind of what I took with me. I'm going to look at those and see... Okay, I'm going to do this. We're going to stamp the little heart flower bunch. And let's add a little embellishment in the corners. I'm going to use uh, jet black ink. All right, y'all ready for the raffle? <laughs> Robin doesn't know what to do with me. Just adding it in the corner. I'm going to do it on this one as well. All right, put the stamp back where it belongs, and then it's easier to find later on. All right, so let's do, um, uh, 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 live your best life and aspire to be amazing. So here's where I'm going to grab. I got a strip of book page that I know it's big enough because when I put my stamp on top of it like this, there's space on either side. <laughs> That's how I judge my scraps. Of course, you can always trim them. All right, so, so I don't accidentally stamp on my page. I'm going to ink it up. Live your best life. I'm going to stamp it. Live your best life. If it doesn't turn out perfect and you need to have a better impression, 
you know there's two sides to paper flip it over sometimes I don't stamp perfectly but I kind of like that in a journal that imperfect stamping we're so perfect in everything else we do in life you know we have high expectations of what we do it's kind of nice to just play and not worry about if it's perfect or not so don't get hung up on that y'all all right so let's use that all right y'all in on the raffle and i'll put i'll put this little scrap back in that bin <laughs> <laughs> now when it gets to an inch or less I have to be very selective because honestly I'm not going to dig through there for that little piece <laughs> alright so let's add some distress inks and let's do the raffle y'all in on the raffle and I've got a little baggie here maybe you can find a another image to put on here or do we want to leave it relatively flat you know, I have a tendency to overfill my journal so I try to as much as possible keep things flat in the decorating process so that when I do put bulky things in it's not as big as it could have been <laughs> But, but I need to be perfect. No, you don't, Margie. <laughs> let it go, lady. Let it go. <laughs> All right, let's do the giveaway of the 200 junk bucks. And that winner is Bonnie Lipke. Congratulations. You won 200 junk bucks. I'll get that added to your um, account. I think I may have forgotten to do last week's or the 16th. I'll have to look. All right. So we're going to do, what are these? Okay. Okay. I have here some rub on images. I do not know if they'll even rub off because they're kind of old you can test one, like maybe test one of the little pieces or something. And if it doesn't work, then just fussy cut them out. <laughs> You'll have the plastic uh, sheet on one side. Uh, this one is about Paris. I probably bought it when it was half off because they had a sale, thinking I would be using them. And I never did because I use rubber stamps more because of Beverly. And I'm passing them along to y'all. And then these are all... Uh, thank thank you for your thoughtfulness. Thanks, thanks, thank you, thank all those thank yous. All right. Can I open it? Yes. Okay. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Yeah, they do go bad, Sam. They can go bad. They, they can um, not separate really well. And there's tips out there to do it. I can't tell you those because I don't do it often enough to know. Do I want something that may be too small? Well, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? If we did that across the page, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? I'll put some distress inks around the edges. So what else do we have here? This says something else under it. Do I want to cover that up? Do I want to? No, I don't think I like that. But I did see a piece of brown here. Maybe this would be good. So what if we did that and just made a little... How long do I need to go? Okay, right about there. So I'm going to use this as a guide and cut this off and then I snip it in the middle and then we just go right up to that pinnacle and then go right up to that pinnacle. All right. So we just made a little flag. You don't have to have a punch. <laughs> K 
cash in your coupon for your points. No, Margie's got a game of she's going to see how many she can collect. <laughs> Keep putting that up. All right, so this is going to go right here. Like that. What do you think? You like that? You want to be a get a million junk bucks so you can be a millionaire? <laughs> well, you'll be a millionaire, but I will not. <laughs> Uh, you can only redeem. Uh, maybe that's why I need to make that a, a, a in the fine print. You can only redeem this uh, one junk buck, ten junk bucks per. Uh, <laughs> uh, no stacking of junk buck coupons. All right, let's do like this. I like it. You like it? Cough, cough, hoarder. <laughs> All right. How's that? I'm going to show you one more thing tip-wise. Um, you know, if you ever put down an image on a page, but it just doesn't quite blend into the page the way you think it should, well, here's an idea for you. Oh, we'll just deal with this one. Uh, watercolor pencil. And I'm going to go right around my image, which would be this little flag. Okay. I'll do it on this one too. This one's a lavender color. I just happen to have it on my desk. And I don't do this very often because it does take a little extra time. But then I'm going to take... Um, well, why not? I've got some tattered angels. So this is uh, Dancing Dragonflies Transparent Gold. This is where you could use your tattered angels, Julie. And I shook it. And I'm just going to dip my paintbrush in there. And then I'm going to come right on this edge. And I don't need a lot, but I'm just getting a little bit. And it kind of just smears that around blends it onto my page. And depending on what color you use, if you use a, a charcoal gray, if you use a black, you can really get a cool shadow effect. If you're into the vintage, then use a brown. I haven't done this in a while, but I thought I would show y'all. I was doing it on the cruise ship because I had the leisure time to sit and fuss with things. So I thought, well, why not today? I'll just show real quick. Now, don't use too much that you saturate your page. Oh, I got a little much there. Because you'll end up with a wet ring. In fact, it may be wet on the other side. Hopefully it's not too bad. Well, it's coming through just a little bit, but not bad. But you see how it kind of just changes that? Maybe you can't see it, but it just gives it a little... Oh, thank you so much, Margarita, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so you can use the glimmer mask. So can you kind of... Let's, let's zoom in. Dance and shoot. Thank you, Margarita. Can you kind of see where I just did a light color because we're using that pink in the background, but you can use the tattered angels and y'all probably can't see it, but it has a little bit of a glimmer now on that outside frame area. Okay. And I'm not going to put anything on here. I just, I think I'll leave this side to be the way it is. All right. Let's do something with the diamond paper, maybe even, oh, I'll do it this way first. Thank you. Hey, Barb, we were talking about you. We missed you at the beginning. Glad you're here. The, the rocky beginning because I didn't have internet. 
All right, so let's find a stamp. What do I want to use in the corner? <laughs> I've got the Bella Rose stamp. I hardly use that one anymore these days. <laughs> <laughs> Four months ago, I used it all the time, or six months ago. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stamp it, but rotate it every so often, so it's kind of coming in around our edge here. I think I'll go ahead and go up the spine because this will be the center of our book. So it will peek out just, or not the center of the book, but near the spine. That's kind of pretty, isn't it? Let's just start with. You just snuck in. Well, thank you. Oh, thank you for the e-card. I got a birthday card today. <laughs> Uh, I love it. I'm still celebrating my birthday, y'all. Well, we had a nice trip. Uh, like I said, we went into town and would talk to the local peeps. We went mainly to shops that they really did advertise we are local and they weren't a chain store. Uh, if you've ever been on a cruise ship or you have been to a cruise port, there's a lot of jewelry companies that you can find in almost every port around the world. So we didn't go there because we didn't want jewelry. And, if, and I did go to some jewelry stores, but I wasn't going into those really high-end places. And we found a local artisan jewelry, trinkets, uh, home decor. They had a little bit of everything. They all used fossil and old bones and ivory that is all from Alaska and they made all kinds of things. You could get a keychain, you could get necklaces and earrings and I think there was even some rings and bracelets and they had like a, a topper for your cane and um, little carved animals and figures. I don't know. It was a neat little shop. We did buy one thing. We bought something for Henry. Henry was looking for a pendant and we found one and we had, you know, like I said, we had no money. So it was $19 and he happened to have $19 and whatever cents in his wallet. So that's what he got. But we got to talk to a lot of the local people and they were hurt really badly by the COVID shutdown. So they are blessed and thankful that people are getting back out to cruise again and that we stopped in their area. It was really neat. Okay, so I stamped all over the outside of that and I happen to have some things here, some calco collage images, maybe something like that would be pretty. What else do I have here? I have a yellow rose we could put on the other side. That's a pansy. I don't think that really goes with what we're doing here. I have a rose there. What else do I have in here? I we got a couple of, of I call them a microscope slide size anyway. I don't know. Oh, I know what else we could do. I think I have, I have a library card. Do I have, do you have a tiny postcard? Is there one? There's one. Oh, here's some butterflies. Okay, cool. And I have some other flowers here. There we go. Now I have some thingies. I did stamp a few things and colored them and then fussy cut them out just so I could have my own little ephemera 
that I could add. So if you have rubber stamps, don't forget that is an option. All right, so this is my tiny postcard that I've stamped onto some ivory cardstock. And we're just going to trim it out. Come on. I missed y'all. <laughs> Yeah, August birth month, birthdays all all month. There you go. Yeah, all month. When August people, their birthday is all month long because we're special. <laughs> well, see, I always missed out on um, school birth birthday parties because my friends, their birthdays were during the school year, but mine was always just before we started school. Living in a small country community, you know, they're still farming. So we didn't start school till the last week of August sometimes. Uh, we might do it the week of my birthday, but I don't recall ever being in school on my birthday. <laughs> so my birthday parties, uh, were a lot smaller than everybody else's because I didn't have my friends that I see every day on the school bus to say, hey, come over tomorrow. <laughs> and we didn't really we lived way out in the country, so it wasn't like I just could walk to everybody's houses. All right, so let's see. Something like that. Maybe a little postcard. We're going to make a little cluster. How's that sound? And I already have some words in my little fussy cut thing. No, that may be too big. Follow your heart. That would be a good one there. Let's do that. So I'm just going to glue them down. So I'm going to put a little glue right here so I can stick my postcard in the back. And then we'll glue it down. All right, about where I want it, right about there. Moose, buttery moose, what? Let's put it like that. You have texture paste and you never use it. You know, I don't use it anymore either mainly because I don't like a lot of bulky texture in my journals and right now I'm predominantly creating journals so I don't really feel the need to get out my texture paste. So what if we did do I want to do something like that? I was trying to tone down that yellow. I think that's what I want to do is just kind of layer that. And then let's find another. Let's look at my little bin. How about charming? I'll just kind of layer that up. Layer it up! Whoop, whoop. Hey, Cherry. Good job. Cherry, uh, Cherry, yeah, I can't say it. Cherry did a great job there. All right. I like that. So I think I can just glue that all the way down. I do like texture, though. It's fun. I need to start scheduling days for me to play. I I try to get things planned for the following week. I'm you know working on orders. I'm creating new products. You know, I'm doing all these things, but sometimes I forget to just sit 
and piddle and play and you know get out the different mediums I think we'll go right there and just play around with stuff okay I kind of like that and because I'm putting it at the top of the page it'll help with my journal because a lot of times we have a tendency to put things at the bottom of our pockets so we can put things in them so that causes our journal to be really fat at the bottom but it's real thin at the top well this will kind of help with that by collaging yeah you know I, and some people are like well you're you're not mixed media if you're not using texture paste and I'm like you know mixed media is mixing different mediums together period it's not just the art form of using paint to create art it is using fabric and paper and paint and paper doilies and a piece of string or a twig or a um, leaf off of a tree so I mean there's lots of ways there's a wide gamut of using mixed media ah gotcha well and if you hate cleaning the texture paste off your stencils Jeanette big tip anytime you're doing mixed media things that the product could stick to your tools get you a tub of soapy water whatever soap you prefer I prefer thieves by young living and I put a capful not quite a capful into a tub and as I am doing my gel printing or if I was doing mixed media pages I would stick my stencil into that water immediately after I'm done making whatever thing and that way it gets that off faster it's easier to clean it off all right so let's see ah, I'm, I'm not feeling these pieces so I'm gonna set them aside but I did make these pieces earlier and I kind of like the flower on flower idea um, I think we need a little book page behind there that's what we're gonna do okay I just happened to see one in my little bin so let's go right about there I'm just going to tear a book page. This one happens to be kind of vintage looking. It's a dictionary page. And I'm just going to use the natural area here. So what if I kind of like that? I'm going to add some distress inks to it. All right, what I do with my Thule? Seriously? Why did I lose it? Oh, there it is. It had rolled back into my drawer. Oh yeah, this Murphy's oil soap does leave a smell. Yeah, and I, I don't like strong smells that are chemical cleaning smells, I guess you could say. I like using peppermint oil in my diffuser in my craft room or lavender or uh, some of the citruses like lemon and lime I like lemongrass all right I'm liking that oh I've got these little labels so why don't we just stick a couple of those on there I think that gives us enough little contrast in that corner something interesting and, you know this could be a date you could just put a word wherever you want you can even layer another word on top of that if you like yeah it helps it helps a lot that's what I teach at my workshops when we do gel printing just put it in the water <laughs> put it in the water some people don't care they just let whatever accumulate on their stencils yeah it did help the flower stand out didn't it yeah otherwise it was lost on the page all righty 
Well, we're getting another page done. I'm going to have to kick it into high gear. I've been just kind of talking and chatting with y'all. So that was Skagway where we bought some jewelry. So we're going to continue on our Alaskan cruise. And we went to Juneau the next day. And we wandered around the city of Juneau. Oh, and I forgot to say in Skagway, uh, let's go back. Um, we did something that we haven't done in a long, 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 long time. We ate local. So instead of getting back on the cruise ship and eating the meal of lunch meal or whatever time of day it was, this case it was lunch, we decided that we had heard that there's a really good seafood restaurant and it's right near where our boat was. In fact, you can walk right by it. We walked to town. It's about a oh, five minute walk. I like it. And I had, uh, they had fish and chips and it was halibut and it was so good. It was so good. They had fries and the, the battered fish and a little cup of coleslaw and not a cup full, like a, like a quarter cup, pretty much is how much was the coleslaw. And they had sweet tea that they make and they bring it out in a craft. You buy it by the craft. And we were able to look out over the um, pier where a lot of the sailboats and smaller boats were, the long uh, sailboats and small boats uh, into the ocean. So it was kind of neat just to sit there and do that. All right. Then we went on to Juneau and walked around town and met some local people. I think I'm going to use this pink page. I was going to use the need it when I get to the end and I forgot to count how many pages I have. <laughs> now I do have this piece. Now do we want to stamp it again around that outside edge with something else? I've kind of done that on several pages recently. So since we're kind of consistently doing that, I'll line this up and we'll do that. All right, so this is the Dog Rose rubber stamp. It's from the Apothecary line. And I think I'm going to do this. I want to stamp it upright in the corner. And then I'm going to come around it and stamp it. I kind of like that. Isn't that pretty? I don't think we need to go... I don't think we need to go all the way around. I think that's enough decoration on the page, personally. So I'm just going to stamp it. And then I'm just kind of filling in around the edge. Alright, I'm going to do that on all four sides. So that'll kind of remind you of, like, stationery. And this would be also really super cute on some stationery. I like it. Be a good gift to give someone. Give them a small journal that maybe they would use that for writing birthday cards or anniversary cards and you gave them some little stationery that matched. Okay, I like that. Missed iced tea, coleslaw, and hush puppies. Yeah, they're yummy, aren't they, Jeanette? Alright, so I like that. I'm not going to use this guy. Alright, I'm just looking. Do I need to add anything else to that? It's really thin paper, so stamping it on both sides kind of helps cover that this kind of bleeds through just a little bit. But I like how that turned out. I think keeping it simple is good. So I'm just going to leave it. We're going to leave it. That's the way it's going to be. Alrighty. So I have a few little elements here I can still use. Put the stamps over there. I was playing around with scraps of paper and scrapbook paper. So 
I haven't really completely designed this. I just kind of just laid it around so we can figure out what we can do it. Thank you, Julie. All right, so. I need to make sure how many pages I need to make. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this would make ten. Okay. I wasn't sure if I made enough pages. Okay. So, here's what we got. I've got a book page here in the background and then I happen to have some sheet music. Let me get it in the screen so y'all can see it. I had some scrapbook paper that I thought was kind of pretty. I don't know. I just kind of, I just cut it up. It was 12 by 12 and I just started cutting it in a way that I thought would look kind of cool layered. And let's see what else did I do here. Okay. So I thought that might look kind of neat up there. And then I cut this little piece. I don't know if I want to put it there or fill that corner in. And I saw this little bird. I thought he would be kind of cute. And I've got a couple of butterflies we could use. I found these strips and they're the same size. I thought one could go this way and I would just trim it to where it comes across there. But I really feel like maybe this one should go there and I have another little scrap of this this is a gel print <laughs> it's this is the bigger portion of it and this was a piece that I had left over and so I cut it again in half and I thought well maybe I could put it on my page here okay so that this is kind of how I um try to figure out my thought process of what what do I want to do well, some of it has to do with the things that I already have or if I deliberately just cut paper at two and a half inches three and a half inches four and a half inches five and a half inches uh, or, or no more than five and a half usually it's five and a quarter or five inches and then just see what I can do by placing it in different configurations Oh uh, yeah, this is a punch. This is a paper punch. So you punch it and then you slide it over and you punch, you line it up and punch it again. And I love it because it's a great tool. I make my own paper lace and I can use it over and over and over again. All right. I think we used pink here. We've got pink here in these two places. I want to change the background of my paper. So I'm just going to pull this out. And then let's do something about this outside area. I don't have to color the whole thing, but while I've got that on this side, what do I want to do over here? These are just some papers that I have. Okay, I think I can get away with colorizing around in a frame on here. And I don't hardly ever show this technique either but I'm going to do it today. I was thinking pink. I think pink's still what I want to do. So I'm going to take my ink pad and go directly to the paper. And this may be a little bright. It's messy, okay? It's not pristine. We're not going for that. We like this little grungy look. Use what you have. If you don't have an ink pad, you know, you can use makeup. It will transfer, but you can use makeup. and You can use food coloring and make your own little 
design of product. All right, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to fold it back on itself. And I'm going to do the other side the same way. So I've used Tattered Angels today. Now I'm using the ink pad. Okay, now my hands always get dirty when I do that, so I'm gonna clean them off. Weathered look, yeah, exactly. Think pink for sure. Yeehaw, Margie says. Okay, I kinda like that. Now, when I go to put this down, do I want this outside? I, and I've gotten on this kick where I really am liking adding that little bit of texture on that outside edge. I don't know why. It's just something that appeals to me. And again, you know, do what you love. So I'm going to use the French correspondence stamp again. And I'm just going to stamp it just on this edge lightly it just changes the way the paper looks can you see that how it just kind of changes it a little bit all right poke poke nudge nudge all right it's time y'all get it on the raffle Get on the raffle now. So I'm going ahead and I'm stamping on both sides of this paper, just kind of randomly. So I'll fold it back over and we'll stamp this way again. Forgot. I got to do one more. Do, 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 do. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because you're just adding a little bit of texture to your page. Yeah, the textured edges are great for that, for sure, Julie. They really are. Okay, so we got our page kind of decorated. We left the middle somewhat blank because of the papers we're using. We don't really need to see the background all that much. So I'm going to start putting things back on here and seeing now how we want things placed. Like, do I want that on top? I kind of think I do. I don't think I added some distress inks to that. I was trying to add distress inks to everything, but I think I kind of forgot this piece. And I think we need a sentiment, don't we? There's not a pocket on this side anyway. We're going to have some tuck spots on the other side. You like that technique? Yay, glad! Pooh, love it. <laughs> Put texture on it, then I'll see it. Hey, Sandra. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, y'all enter the raffle. I'm giving away some rub-ons. They're really old, so I don't know how well they're going to work. But, you know, you're getting like $7 almost in um, rub-ons. <laughs> oh, my nose itches all of a sudden. Okay, I'm dancing on my seat, but don't want to miss anything, Julie. <laughs> uh, we're so glad to have you, Sandra. 
Okay, so the winner of the rub-ons is Rhonda. Hey, Rhonda, are you here? I'm glad you're here. I sent you an email. I don't know if you got it. Congratulations. Okay, so we're going to do, this is the last free raffle that I'll have for today and then we will raffle the journal off at the end so I'm going to give y'all an opportunity to win my flower quartet stencil set that's a $15.99 value <laughs> okay so this is flower QT stencil set open giveaway and because I knew it will fit in a small envelope <laughs> alrighty okay I like this so far I'm gonna do this piece I was gonna put this piece but now that we have this pink like that I don't think this piece is needed okay and I'm also kind of thinking that maybe I don't need this pink piece up that high. I think I want it down lower so you see a little bit of the white. And I think Don't Forget to Fly would be a good sentiment right there. I have a vintage piece of paper. That'll be good. All right, so let's ink that up. This is a sticker from the All About Robins subscription box. I had to buy, I don't know how many, because y'all got like four or five each, but I had to buy so many that I couldn't use them all in the kit, so I still have some. And I found them when I was rearranging and thought, well, I need to use those. I kind of like that. Now, we could go to the sewing machine. We haven't done that today. I think we're we're not doing too bad on time, but let's let's get this all laid out. And then we can decide if we want to go to the sewing machine. So what if, do we want to put something like that? Or do we want to put it this way? See, now it covers up the music. I don't know. I'm going to leave that there for a moment and think about it. Because I'll cut it off right here. Because I don't want it to extend beyond. Let's put this one over here. I think I still want to do this piece. What did I have here? I had something there. Oh, there it is. And I had this piece that I was putting on this side. And let's put a sentiment out here. Maybe I've got one. Create your own sunshine. That's too big. Too big! Find something smaller to work with. I need to reprint those words. They're from Norella, but I think I need to resize them. Because they're too big, I feel. That says use your wings. Don't forget to fly. How about, that one's, that's way too big, isn't it? We could do Faith, but that's huge. I wish it was smaller. So maybe what we'll do is we'll stamp Faith. Don't I have that? Mm -hmm. I do, I have Faith. So let's stamp that. I even have a fatter piece of book page. Okay. 
put the stamp where it belongs so you can find it again later. <laughs> okay. I'm truly building this in front of y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Do I have it straight? I think it's pretty straight. Let's see. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just rip it. Oh, yeah, I like that. Just using a scrap. back over here there we go I don't think it needs stitches I think it's got enough I think this piece needs distress ink on it and then I need to trim it so if I have this like this I just need to go to here so I'm just going to use this as a guide and cut it. All right, so first I want to glue down this piece. So I'm just going to slide everything down a little bit. <laughs> well, that's okay. We'll put this right here. So we use direct to paper and put the paint down. We stamped around the edges. I'm still trying to leave just a little bit of space all the way around. <laughs> you forgot again, Sandra. Oh my goodness. Well, I sent it to you and I never heard from you. So I thought, well, she must have got it because she didn't say anything else. And I knew you'd been busy. So I didn't want to bug you. You're like, use your coupon code, woman. <laughs> hey, Robin, put a, put a note for me to resend her coupon code. Please. All right. And I think this piece has got to go over here. So I'm just going to put some glue on it and put it in place. Like so. And then we'll put this piece down. Thank you, Ada. Thank you so very much. I, these are, you know, I'm using calco collage images. I'm using book pages and sheet music scrapbook paper a punched a piece of paper to make look like a, a lace uh, look like lace I think something right there I think right about there so we have you know we have some writing space here and we'll have writing space in there you can always paste another piece of paper on top all right, so I'm gonna glue down this piece. And what I should have done, but didn't, was measure this to be the same height and trim it. So we're just gonna eyeball it. Okay. And we'll glue this one down. Uh, okay, I will, Sandra. I may do that. Well, I'm sorry you're having issues. I pray that things will get better and you will be healed and be able to do the things that you love. Oh, I almost did this. All righty. I like it. Okay. So then this piece is going to go over here. And it's okay if it covers this up a little bit. I'm, I'm okay with that. I want to see some of this pink over here. 
Um, Margarita, that is our free for all little um, fight, I guess you could say. It's a virtual game. And when you play, the winner wins a bunch of junk bucks. You're very welcome, Sandra. It costs you 10 junk bucks to play, but you could win 100, 110, 20, nothing. It's gambling. Oh my. And I think right about there. I, I like the layers. I don't hardly do layers like this, so. It's all coming together. Good way to use your scraps. Alright, so this is a sticker. So I gotta I did go around the edge with distress ink. I may have to get my other glasses because I can't see. All right, let's see. Put my my magnifiers on. I'm using a straight pen. I got it. All right, let's change glasses because I can't wear those <laughs> long term. I think right about there. I might put it up a little higher. Okay. And then this says, "Don't forget to fly." You know, sometimes I will take a piece of paper that is a strip and cut it in half and then split it between two pages. I mean, that's some of the ideas I'm trying to give you. Sometimes I'll cut it into four pieces, okay? Oh, it looks like a corset. Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, so that was this side. So let's go over here. So this is some iridescent pearlized paper that I, I have because of the subscription boxes and I happen to have a little stack left over that isn't enough to put in a subscription box so I thought well I better start using it. Hello! So glad to have you here Sylvia! Thank you so much! You're enchanted! <laughs> Alright, so I thought that could go up there. And then I have uh, these birds from, I think, the All About Robin kit. I had another one over here. What else do I have here? I have, I don't know where these came from. They may have been given to me by somebody, but there's just some little floral images. And this may be too much, you know, but... I kind of like, I was trying to play around and, and do some layers and see what I could come up with. I don't think the ivory paper really needs anything at the moment, but I'm, I'm contemplating, okay? I have an envelope that was given to me. I thought that would be kind of pretty to stick into where this bird is. So it does cover that up. And that's just it. Do you leave that on there? Or is that really too big? And we need something maybe a little bit smaller. That might work better. What else do I have here? Oh, I have some domino images. Maybe from the uh, Dancing Dragonflies kit. See, it, sometimes that's what happens. It evolves. A little bit. Sam, now I'm thinking I like that better. Okay. Now I do have a still a scrap of this gel print. So I'm thinking, yes, we're going to make this bigger, but at the same time, we're not making it as big as that was. I kind of like that. Since I already had that piece laying there. And oh, uh, thank you, Rhonda, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I've got this piece of brown. Instead of cutting that piece, is what I'm thinking. And I kind of like the brown. All right, do we like the brown or do we like the pink? I'm going to trim this one to fit. 
And let's add some Distress Ink. <laughs> Get a dopamine rush. <laughs> Alright. I like... I don't know. I kind of like that pink. I could also do this. See, that's what happens. You start playing around with it. That'll go down there. Maybe? Maybe not. But I think I like the brown a little better. Let me see if I can center it. I'm just talking to myself here. It's no big deal. <laughs> okay, I'm going to cut another one. You like the brown for variety? Thank you, Julie. <laughs> Okay, so what we'll do is I will just cut a piece here. I usually don't use my scissors for this, but I'm going to eyeball it today. And then let's trim the bottom. Oh, thank you, Sandra, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I think I like that. I think that's all it really needs up there. So we need to find something to put in here, but I think we can go ahead. Mmm, I just can't decide. All right, we're going to, let's go ahead and glue these together. Because I'm trying to decide if I want to add a little bit more embellishment by putting it around the edge of that ivory paper. You talk to yourself all the time. Sometimes you just can't find anyone else to have to else on your same wavelength. Yep, yep, yep. Uh -huh. <laughs> Henry walks around the house talking to himself all the time. And he's like, well, I wasn't speaking up. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I said, sometimes I can't tell the difference because you'll start talking to me and then you'll walk out of the room. <laughs> I'm like, are you still talking to me? Because you walked away and I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I got new earbuds and I was going to use them today and uh, the internet was messing me all up so I didn't get them out and start some music for me to play caught thinking out loud exactly Julie I, I do that to Norella and I do it via text though. So what I'll do is I'll have an idea and I'll send it to her. I think I'm just going to leave it. I'll send it to her. She fibs, Henry says. <laughs> I'll send her a message. I'll say, hey, so I'm thinking, what about, huh, that would be kind of interesting. Well, maybe, well, let me do this. And, and I'm sending her paragraphs like this. And then I'll go through the whole process of whatever I'm working on. I'll send her pictures. And I go, well, I don't really like that one as much. Okay, I'm going to do it this way. And then she'll come on maybe hours later. And she's like, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I'm glad to be your sounding board. Even though she had no input. You know, she just added at the end. <laughs> All right, let's put this down. I kind of like the smaller bottle of Aline's Tacky Glue. It's shorter than the bottle that I've been using. It's the one you can pick up at our dollar stores here in the United States. I 
guess because it just has a lower profile to it. I don't know. We'll see what it does when I fill it back up again. It, some uh, cards, Sherry, um, it may be your bank isn't allowing it to go through because they're worried about fraud because it's an online thingy. Um, it could be that you don't have uh, some information incorrect, like your zip code going to your card. You can always use, if you can't get it and you're frustrated and you want to donate, I it's okay to do it through the YouTube. It just, they get more of it. They end up getting 30% of it. They take 30% right off the top. Okay, you've used it before. Maybe, maybe it's just having an issue today. You may have to get out of it and go back in. Try the, try the link again. Yeah, check your username in case it's different. Just in case. All right, I like that. And then we'll put this one over here. Do we, do we need a word, don't we? <laughs> oh, how about this? Um, created with a purpose. That's a newer one of my stamps. So I'll do that on here. I like it. Created with a purpose. I think I like it layered over, personally. You're welcome. Thank you, Cherry. Okay, let's put it right there. I'm trying to see if I had another sentiment. And I do. So this one is, I cried out to him with my mouth. His praise was on my tongue. And that's Psalm 66, 17. And the other one that I just did, what was that? Where to go? Purpose. At Ephesians 2.10. All right, let's do it this way. Yeah. Thank you, Sam. All right, so we need some kind of journal card to put over here. I've got an envelope that we're putting on this side. Okay, it kind of covers up some of our stuff, but it's there. I do have some of these smaller cards that I didn't use, so we could just put them like that. I could fold this in half and then stick it in. I like, it's kind of pretty. I'm going to go around the edge. Fold it in half or leave it whole. Tell me, tell me what you want. Thank you, Julie. Thank you so very much. I'm just adding some distress inks to the edges. Okay, I think like that, I could do this. That kind of uses up all these pieces. All right, so let's flip it back over. And that's this side. So when you come to it, here's your first page. 
then you come to this page and then you come to that page I'm kind of thinking that I want to leave it whole Julie okay I was kind of thinking maybe I would fold it all right I'm putting a little extra glue down here on the bottom it was too floppy too floppy like the card over it okay good Alrighty, well then, you know what? It's time to put the journal together. I'm getting early, done early. I have a few little scraps left over, and I'll just put them in my bin, you know, that I use. Alright, let's get this back here out of the way. Let's get all these thingies. Oh, and I do have some butterflies. Do we want those? Is that too much? Well, I've got to add the butterfly to this page. <laughs> I like it. Okay. So, which page? Do we want to see in the dead center of our journal? Probably not that one. So I'm thinking either we see this in the center of our journal or we see this or I can even do it this way. I'm kind of partial to how this turned out and the fact that it continues from one page to the next. So this is going to be our center of our journal. So one, and this will be one, three, Oh, thank you, Cherry. You got it. You got it. Okay. So what do I got here? I've got a couple of these pages. I'm thinking this would be our first page. So maybe we'll do that. One, two, three, maybe. I don't want that next. I think I want that here and here. Okay. Let's put that there. All right. So I'm grabbing a cover. Then I'm grabbing a page. And I'll grab one of my pages. Oh, I like how that turned out. So when you get to that page, and I'll grab a printed page. Grab a thick page. I'm going to come back and skip the printed page. No, I'm not. Yeah. Skip a printed page. And do a doily. Now I'll do a printed page. To this guy. This guy. I'll try to mix it around just a little bit. Okay. So you kind of put your pages in order that you think you want them. And then I like to just take a brief moment. I'm waiting on Sandra. She, thank you so much for your donation. So I'll kind of look at it and see if there's anything that 
you know I don't like the way it looks like mm, I mean that kind of gives it more of an eclectic look with the blue over that so I'm wondering if this would look better if I did it this way and sometimes you just fold it in the opposite direction I like that better and then we have this next to that okay we have the pink and the pink we have this doily okay yeah all right so I'm just going to go back through these and make sure that they're centered and then we'll bind it together you really like the theme journals but a really big fan of the eclectic ones great way to use up those odds and ends laying around exactly I mean that's basically what I'm doing I'm just seeing oh well, I have this laying here I need to use it I have too many things that are just piling up and this way you use it and it, in my opinion because I do such a wide variety of themes but at the same time the themes generally blend well together there's a few that won't and so I still have those pages and elements they're just waiting for the day for a theme journal or for an eclectic journal that's mostly that style you know how do I pre make the page layouts and not trim them after they're sewn together well I use eight and a half by eleven inch paper I've creased it once so that it has a nice crease the key Julie is when you stack your pages together that you make sure that they're stacked into that spine all the way down okay if you don't then your inside pages will stick way out from your first pages that you put in your journal and I just line it all up trying to make sure that I have it so I'm putting my thumb down here making sure it's down in that crease so they're pretty much straight they stick out a little bit but I don't care if mine stick out it's okay if you're not consistent then there might be a need for you to trim your pages shorter and you may have to trim them afterwards if it annoys you but it doesn't bother me but I've just learned that and then when you go to bind it I'm holding it as a V Julie and I'm really pushing my pages down into that V so if you have a book binders cradle if this is hard for you to do a book binders cradle will allow you to do that because it'll give it something to rest upon as you're pushing now you can push it all the way through so you have to not be that forceful uh, thank you Ada for your donation thank you thank you thank you all right so I'm just gonna go right through this center and press all through the pages do that again making a three hole pamphlet stitch yeah 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 if you've got way too many pages or you have too many things on your page that it's like the equivalent of four pages because you have all these thingies I generally use 10 sheets of paper hey Mary thank you for your donation I generally use 10 pages in my journals I think if you count the stationery that we used or I used and the doily there should be 12 pages I think I'm doing three times the height of the journal but that paper is smaller so hopefully it won't seem as bulky as a full eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper okay 
So here's what we're doing. I get in on the last free raffle now. I'm going to bind this journal, and then once it's bound, I will call for the winner of the stencils. And then we will start the raffle. Thank you all for your donations. I greatly appreciate it. Remember when you make a donation that you are buying a membership to the YouTube donator membership on my website. So make sure you go over to lindaisrael.com and create a user account and then message me if this is your first time to donate or if you haven't been in a while. And then I will get you added to my YouTube donator membership, which gives you a discount on your orders from my website and you get free digital downloads, a bunch of digital downloads that I offer. And I am working on some, I call them coloring book pages. They're patterns, more, you know, just repetitive patterns that you could color. They're too intricate to make, I'm not gonna cut that yet, into um, stencil designs because they just won't work as a stencil, but they would be awesome as background papers. So if you wanted to spray tattered angels over the top of them or uh, color them, sit down and color. Right, I know I have some charms here. Well, I have a... Uh... Oh, that's right. I moved my charms. They're in a different spot now. Y'all didn't remind me where my charms were. They're in this little doodad. So this is sequins and beads. There's a few beads in there. So I'm going to dig down, find a couple of beads. I got some green ones just because of Robin. <laughs> and because there's a green on this page. So I'm going to put a couple of beads. These are... Seed beads. I can't remember if it's the eight or if it's the six. All right, so I'll put one on there. And let's dig around in this little thing of charms. Okay. So, what do we got here? Here's a dragonfly. I think that would be a good one. What else we have in here? What is this? This says trust. Yeah, faith. Don't forget to fly. Trust. That works. I think it does, whether you want to or not. <laughs> yeah, muffin pan, the crafty organizer's best friend. Exactly. And they're cheap because you can get them for a dollar. <laughs> it was only a dollar, y'all. All right, so let's put the dragonfly on here. I'm actually, going to do it this way. Dragonfly up here. Doing like a, I call it a surgeon's knots where you go through it twice. Well, if I could see what I was doing. Okay, there it goes. Some people would come back in and put a dot of glue. That's up to you. If you're not tugging on it, you'll be okay. And this is trust. It's not too bulky with these little seed beads when you get them down to the end. Yeah, let's put it down lower. Okay. Cook muffins in them. How do you use it in the kitchen? <laughs> I got a small waffle iron. It's a mini waffle iron. It's about this size. And I love it. And we put muffin mix in it. Oh, yeah, I didn't finish telling you about Alaska. So we had an amazing time. It was fun. Um, my mother-in-law, I don't know. If, let me zoom in on my face. Let's go. Where is my face? My mother-in-law won 
this little necklace. Let me get up there so you can see it. And it's called a dancing diamond because the diamond moves. When you move, it's kind of got a little swivel on it. Well, she doesn't wear silver. So I got it. She gave it to me. I thought that was really cool. Fit lid. <laughs> All right, there we go. I like it. All righty, y'all in the raffle? Because this is it. Let's pick the winner of the stencils. Where'd I put them? And then we'll flip to this journal. Ugh. I'm tired today. Your typos are a doozy. All right, let me get my created by junk journal made by stamp. Junk journal made by. Okay, what did I just do with those? Seriously? You know, how come when something's right in front of your nose, you can't see it, right? I had to find my little block. Y'all in on the raffle? Yeah, I will be live on this Thursday. The first Thursday of the month. Isn't that what I have been telling y'all? The first Thursday of the month. Which is day after. Two, I say two. This Thursday. Which should be September the 2nd. Is that right? Yeah, September is this week. Okay, this journal made by. So, yes. Uh-oh, where's my pen? August 30th, 2021. Just checking. Got it. Okay. So, the winner of the stencils. I like it, too, because I can feel the thickness on top and bottom. All right. So, giveaway. Pick a winner. That winner is Sherry. Congratulations. You won. I believe I have your mailing address. I believe. All right, so this is going to be for an eclectic one. All right, I don't remember if I spelt it correctly, so. All right, reset, yes, go here, go like that. All right, these people have donated, so thank you so much for your donations. Mary, Ada, Sandra, Cherry, Jeanette, Sandra, Rhonda, Barb, Margarita, Nadine, and Margie. Thank you all for your donations, Dad. Greatly appreciate it. You are entered or are eligible to enter for the raffle for this journal today that I'm getting ready to show you. Yay! Oh, you got disconnected. Well, I'm glad you came back. All right, so you won the little stencils. I used them, so I'll clean them off before I send them to you because my set was in my baggie and I used yours. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get up here. Let's move. Move things out of vision so you can't see them on my desk, right? Don't be distracted by the shiny objects. Here, we'll even get rid of um, the Junky Joe stuff. Okay, put that back down here. All right, wait. Nope, you can see these. I can't have you distracted. <laughs> All right, so this was the wildflowers that kit that I used for the cover just because I was playing around with all of the pieces that I had. So Julie, can you see it does stick out a little bit, but it's not a really that bad. And I would say roughly this is about almost half an inch thick. It's a little bit thicker towards the middle portion than it is on the sides. But I feel that I did a pretty good job in balancing out by putting more embellishments at the top of the page. So in the inside, I used from the uh, Serendipity. This is from the Garden Tea Party Large Journal Kit. 
This is from the Artful Kit. This was, I think, the Artful Kit too, but I'm not positive. My tiny postcard. This is the Bella Rose stamp in the background. That was a doily. And then follow your heart with some words that I happen to have. Now this side is the small diamond stencil. This is the Beach Rose Small stamp and a, the Bella Rose stamp. And this is from the Dragonfly set of um, uh, Find Your Wings or Use Your Wings. It might be Use Your Wings, little stamp set. This was the stationery that I decorated the backside. So I kind of like how that color came out. And we could even kind of add some distress to the edge. So it kind of stands out just a little bit on a layer there. Serendipity again, Serene Flora, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper, rubber stamp, artful I believe, some of her flashcards, Norella's flashcards. And then on this side, scrapbook paper, scrapbook paper. And this is a rubber stamp. It's like a daisy type flower. And then I use the flower, heart flower branch in the background and always dream big. This is a, I don't know which kid it's from, but it's one of Norella's. <laughs> Here I just took a scrap of paper at like those strips from the books and just sewed it onto a piece of mixed media painted paper. And this is a mop-up of using the Victorian stencil. Oh, uh, my paper smells nice. Well, thank you, Julie. Thank you so much. Somebody else told me that, that it smelled nice. So I'm glad you like the way it smells. Probably because of the hand lotion that I use. I use a coconut hand lotion. Uh, anyhow, so stamping. This is one of my artistic stencil club stencils that I use in the background. Grandma's Garden. Nature's Glory, lots of stamping, Unicorn Dreams, this was some watercolor paper that I stenciled the uh, uh, diamonds, diamonds, Di diamonds, I forgot the name of it, <laughs> diamonds with flair. On our way back from Seattle, we had to fly, or our plane was scheduled to fly from from Seattle to Chicago, then to Oklahoma. While we were in the air to, on our way to Chicago, the pilot comes on and tells us that there was some weather in Chicago and we are being diverted to St. Louis. So we went to St. Louis and then we were told that we were going to sit on the tarmac and they were going to refuel and then we would go to Chicago and then we ended up having to stay the night in St. Louis. <laughs> and then we got to go home the next day. So it was a long flight day. Uh, Thursday, I haven't decided yet. It'll be some mixed media stuff. I don't know. I need to be using some of my gel prints I might do a small amount of gel printing up front and then make some things with the gel prints because I really need to do that more than anything maybe we'll make some embellishments and whatnot so I like putting the little piece of fabric on that card to help get it out of the pocket and I did put glue here so this won't this one won't slide down the page because it's glued all the way across. Some of Norella's words again. And then there's a journal card on this side as well. So that's the diamonds with uh, the quilted starburst. I couldn't get my word out. Nature's Glory. More stamping. Oh, that worked out too with the pinks. I I think I did a pretty good job picking the colors. Make it embellishment mixed media Thursday. Easy peasy. <laughs> All right. We'll do it. 
making some pockets and journal cards and tuck spots. All right, if y'all donated, enter the raffle. Mary, Ada, Sandra, Sherry, Jeanette, Sandra, Rhonda, Barb, Margarita, Nadine, and Margie. Oh, I like it. I like how it turned out. And it's simple. I, you know, if you watch me very much, if y'all are new, I tend to make what I call journal inserts. And then I put them inside of a journal cover. And then I can use them that way and or store them that way. But I like to have the ability to take it out of the cover and be able to write in my journals. Lemony squeezy. Or lemon squeezy. <laughs> All right. Is everybody in on the raffle? See Margarita going in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, if we got all eleven people in there, it looks like. Good job, everybody. <laughs> all right, let's pick a winner. Oh, we got a boss fight. I'm gonna wait. I gotta drink water. Thank you, Margarita. I am looking at what I'm going to do for next Monday. Uh, someone wanted me to do the uh, Hallowed Kitties. Is that right? I can't remember if that's the one. And somebody else wanted me to do the Route 66. I re-downloaded the Route 66 because I had the old version that was the 5x7, not the full 8.5x11. And I got, I think I have the Hallowed gothic hallowed and then somebody wanted me to do the forest floor is that what it's called mm, i don't know uh so i'm trying to decide between those three what i want to do for monday and that's when i'll decide <laughs> all right let's pick a winner barb dingwell congratulations you won the journal today you love the cover sandra that's from the a wildflowers kit from Norella. It's a digital download and it's just one of the pages and I printed it. I love how that turned out. It's pretty. Kitties? <laughs> yes, Margie says. Yeah, Forest Floor is the newest kit. I thought so. I have it down. I don't know if I downloaded it yet. I have to look at my downloads. I gotta sit in there and tell my printer to print. <laughs> it's been so long, Jackie Joe. <laughs> well, congratulations, Barb. Yay, and thank you again for my birthday card. I greatly appreciate it. I thought of you when I was in Alaska. I thought, I wonder if we're now in the same time zone. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have internet very much while we were up there because we were on the ship. And sometimes when you're in port, you can get internet on your cell phones but when you're at the sea you know in between there's no coverage so you can't really get any internet and I wasn't paying <laughs> okay I will Barb I'll pet it I'll pet it for you okay good journal <laughs> okay you're soon as you're ordering some flowers <laughs> okay Julie, uh, Sandra I'll get that emailed over to you Ah, oh, dear. Alrighty. Well, I will see you Thursday. We'll do some embellishments. Maybe what I'll do is pull out all my gel prints that I have. And I've got a couple of ideas that I want to do. I think I want to make some journal card tags, tech spots, corner pockets type thing. Um, yeah, we'll see. Okay, Alaska's the other coast. I would be four hours behind you. Okay, I couldn't remember, Barb. Which uh, I was going to look at the at the map, and I didn't. I thought, I'm near Canada. But, of course, Canada goes all the way across the top of the United States. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, y'all, thank you for hanging out with me today. Oh, yeah, the, the Otomy one. See, and I was wondering if I wanted to wait a little bit later to do the autumn one. I don't know. So that that's another option too, Robin. Yes, it is. I want to thank y'all for being here today. Thank you for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. 
me, you know, being silly and all that, that maybe you're inspired to create, get out your stuff. You know, those book pages, junk page, junk journal, or uh, junk pages you can use in your journals. And, you know, there's no wrong way to do it. So do what you love. Have fun doing it. Don't stress about it. Don't let it stress you out. If you don't have something, make do and just go with it and enjoy the process and have a little fun. Okay. All righty. <laughs> Thank you all so very much again for being here. I'm going to get off here and we'll see you Thursday. I'm waiting on my computer. It's so refreshing so I can hit the button. But again, give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, comment below after we do the uh, close of this video so that others can know a little bit more about what you enjoyed about today's live stream. Alrighty, we'll see you Thursday. Yay, you're very welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. My face hurts from smiling so much. <laughs> Y'all have a good day. Bye.